In 2015, Australia's automotive industry demonstrated the serious safety risks associated with imitation parts. The whole industry is concerned about genuine parts being substituted for non-genuine parts. It's a very, very important issue, not just for the industry, but for every single person who drives or is a passenger in a car in Australia. It's a matter of public safety, and we've cooperated with Holden and the Federal Chamber of Automotive Industries to be able to demonstrate to you the sort of danger that you face when you fit non-genuine parts. Imitation wheels were bought through an Australian-based online store. It's as easy as that. Anyone can do it, and anyone can be misled. It's almost impossible to spot the difference from the front, right? Genuine, fake. It's very hard to tell. It looks the same. It's only when you actually turn it around and look at the identifying marks on the back of the wheel that you can see what's the real deal and what's fake. When you look at the back of the wheel, see here, it says made in Germany, but they've actually ground off Germany, not all of it, haven't done a very good job. Here, there was the three-pointed star on the part number, they've ground that off. The only way you can tell this wheel from the rear is by that. The test took place at Holden's Proving Ground at Lang Lang. The Proving Ground features specially calibrated potholes which replicate the types of conditions motorists can find on Australian roads. We're going to put the two wheels you saw before through the pothole test to see how the genuine wheel performs and how the non-genuine part performs as well. In the pothole test, the front wheel is exposed to the maximum impact force and it's only the right side of the vehicle which hits the pothole. For this reason, the test concentrated on the front right wheel. The imitation wheels have been identified with orange tape and the genuine wheels marked by green tape. At just 50 kilometres an hour, when the impact occurs between the spokes, high-speed cameras capture a section of the fake wheel cracking and breaking away. Running the test at the same speed and with the impact occurring at the spoke, the fake wheel breaks again. Now, the genuine wheels. The same test at the same speed. There is no damage when the impact point is at the spoke. When the impact occurs between the spokes, the genuine wheel again is undamaged. 50 kilometres per hour is a real world speed and you can see people coming across that situation in the real life and, and breaking away a piece of rim which is, you know, not only dangerous for the people in the car but for, for people standing on the side of the road as well from how far the piece uh, flew that we saw. Based on those sorts of results I wouldn't want to be putting those rims on my car, definitely not. We've just done the pothole test using the genuine wheel and the fake wheel. The genuine wheel has come through unscathed. The fake wheel has broken apart and this piece has come away from it. Pothole test, hugely successful. We showed just how unsafe fake wheels are. Genuine is best. There's no way I'd be putting my mates in a car with fake wheels. It's just not worth the risk.